This video is brought to you by premiumbeat.com. In this After Effects tutorial, we have a snack pack of information when it comes to creating intros, openers, and promos. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film, and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So, you know, I've done a handful of awesome promo, maybe motion graphic type techniques in the past, but this video is just gonna be a handful of amazing techniques that can be incorporated within a number of After Effects projects, whether you're working on promos, intros, or openers. You're gonna have no problem incorporating some of these techniques or even all of them into your future projects. So, without wasting more time, let's jump into our tutorial and let's get started. All right, so here we are inside of After Effects and we have this very fun tutorial. So here we are in our tutorial composition and I've already set up two placeholders. These are our images or in your case, you could use video. And I like to set things up like this where we have two pre-compositions to where we can easily swap things out later. This isn't necessarily mandatory for this tutorial. You could just bring in your video and images and not you know, pre-compose it. So the first thing we're gonna do is talk about creating a seamless transition between two clips because it's very easy to do so. So, so when you have your two video clips or images in here, the first thing we're gonna do is go to layer, new adjustment layer. And I'm gonna rename this to uh, transition. And I'm gonna go to effect, stylize, and I'm gonna grab motion tile. So what we're gonna do here is add a keyframe for tile center and we'll move forward maybe a second past the first clip. And all we're gonna do is take either the X value or the Y value here and just start you know, looping this. And we'll just go really down and this will determine how fast the transition's gonna be and how many copies it will be in, in between. Then we'll hit U on keyboard for the keyframes, select both the keyframes and make it easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. Now by scrubbing through this, you can see that we can see this spinning and that looks great. Then let's go ahead and toggle switch the modes and turn on motion blur and make sure to turn on the top there. So now we have this very nice seamless transition between two different clips or images. And before we move on, I wanna say thank you to premiumbeat.com for sponsoring this video. Premium Beat is a royalty free music provider for your creative video and motion graphic projects. They have an extremely popular library with thousands of songs to choose from and they have a very easy in-depth search and menu filter system that allows you to quickly find the best songs for your video. So for your next video project, be sure to check out premiumbeat.com for your royalty free music. But, so next up I wanna talk about creating some very quick stylized title animation for your project. And you see I already have my title in here and the typeface that I'm using is Gotham Black. And this is a great typeface for maybe more fashion based type of projects. You know, you want something bold in there. This is a very clean typeface to work with Gotham. So once you have your title in here, whatever you're working with, you wanna create very quick custom animation that's gonna be unique. What we can do is open up our title and we'll go to animate. So click on this little arrow button and we can click on say position and we can just drag the position all the way over to any direction. And then we'll go to the range selector, we'll come here to like the beginning of our timeline. We'll add a keyframe for start and we'll move forward, I don't know, maybe about a second and it says it's to 100%. Now, each letter is gonna animate on like that. Of course, let's make the last keyframe an easy, easy keyframe by hitting F9. Cool. And let's come here to add and let's go to property and let's add a opacity. And this is the opacity down to 0%. And it'll kind of fade in there. And we can also add some more elements in here. So if you want to add like say a scale, you can do that and bring the scale down to like 50 or 0%. And let's go ahead and bring this keyframe out a little bit. And if you want, we come here to the advanced tab and set this to uh, from based on characters to words. And this will do by words instead of, you know, letters. So it's really up to you how you want to work with that, but you have a handful of different properties in here that you can work with that may or may not work great for what you're doing. But take a look at all those custom animations and once you have the range selector set up, you can really you know, easily dial in what you wanna do. So here's our current video. I added a little bit of motion tell effect to the beginning of this you know, timeline. But you know, off the bat, what we have right now is okay. We're getting somewhere, but it's a little bit boring. It's very static. And I wanna add just a little bit of you know, attitude, a little bit of shake to this. So it's very easy to do this as well. So go to layer, new adjustment layer. And we'll rename this layer to shake and bake if you want to get very spiffy. Okay. And then we'll go to effect, stylize, and we're going to add motion tile again. I told you this is a great effect. And all we're going to do is all click the stopwatch for tile center and type in wiggle, open parenthesis, two comma 30, close parenthesis. So there's that expression. And you'll see that there'll be a little bit of offset here because this is the camera shake. 
However, you'll see like the edges are being repeated. This is why I use this effect. But if you don't want it repeated, you just click on mirror edges and it just repeats, you know, the edges with a mirrored effect so it looks seamless. If you do this with just a basic position parameter, you'll have black borders. That's why I love the motion tile effect. And now for camera shake here, this should be a little bit more zesty, which yeah, it looks pretty cool. So it just brings more attention to this, you know, coming together composition. Now that we've gotten three steps out of the way, I want to move this a little bit further and pull these titles out a little bit more by just glitching them about a little bit. So this is very easy to do. What I'm going to do is come here to the rectangle tool, grab it, make sure the stroke is turned off. You can click it and click on none if it's turned on and then draw out a straight rectangle like this. All right, nothing too difficult. And we'll let this be on for like three frames. And then what we'll do is we'll go up to edit split layer and then we'll just delete it. And then we'll go ahead and draw out like another you know, line over our title. So make sure that these are covering up our titles. And, you know, simply drag that endpoint in, let that be on for like three frames or so, delete the layer, and we can keep going here. So we're just trying to create something kind of random, and this is going to be our glitch map. Okay, so now I have a handful of shapes that's going across our composition. It's really quick to create these and just spread them across the timeline, as you can see down here. And when the when you have all your shapes going across the timeline and you can just duplicate them if you want to speed up the process, just select them all, go up to layer, pre-compose, and we'll just call this shape map. And there it is. And then we'll turn off this layer by clicking the eye icon. And let's go to layer, new adjustment layer. And we'll just call this glitch one. And we'll go to effect, distort, and we're gonna wanna grab displacement map. Then we'll set the displacement map layer to shape map two. And you see we get a little bit of glitches here. I can just increase the horizontal real quick. And you can see that it glitches everything. I don't want to glitch the background right away. I want to be able to just do the title by itself. You can see you're getting distortions in the footage, which is okay. So what I want to do here is grab our glitch adjustment layer, our shape map, and our two titles here. And go to layer pre-compose, and we can call this glitch title. And that's good. Make sure this make sure this layer is underneath our transition layer. And now with our glitch title map, it's just over our title and that looks amazing and just adds, you know, more detail, more to our intro promo, whatever you're doing just looks great. And of course, you know, if you want it on the background as well, that's up to you. So in our fifth technique, I was going to talk about adding accent motion graphics to our work and I would go step by step showing you how to do this, but I have at least 10 tutorials showing you how to create accent motion graphics all in depth and I will link my best accent tutorial in the description. It's called four great motion graphic techniques in After Effects that I created like a year ago and has like a million views. So it's been a really helpful tutorial and I highly suggest taking a look at that. However, if you're me, I don't really create accent motion graphics from scratch anymore because I use one of my favorite extensions in After Effects called Motion Bro and a full After Effects package called Create Pack which has like 3,600 elements ranging from like awesome title animations that you can easily apply to any After Effects project to lower thirds, you know, to transitions, backgrounds, uh, devices, and so much more out of this 3,000 plus kit. So for example here, I can easily preview any of these burst accident motion graphics and just click on apply and it'll automatically apply this motion graphic to my timeline and on top of my footage that I can easily scale down just any colors and move around my composition just to bring more detail to our project. So if you want to check out Create Pack along with several other packs that I use for creating action motion graphics, I will link those in the description as well. All right, in our last technique, I want to be able to create just a quick RGB effect to this composition just to, you know, maybe tie everything together or just add a little bit more style points to our comp. So what we can do to do this really quick is we can grab all of our elements here in our timeline, go to layer, pre-compose, and we'll just call it all. Then we'll go up to effect, channel, and we're gonna grab shift channels. Go to the green channel, set this full off. Go to the blue channel, set this full off. Then we can just duplicate this and go to red, full off, and set this back to green. Duplicate this layer, go to green, set it to full off, and go to blue and set it to full off. And then take the two top layers, toggle switch the modes until you see the blend modes and set this to screen then everything is back to normal. And then we'll come here to our bottom layer, go to effect, stylize, and we'll grab motion tile. And we'll all click the stopwatch for tile center, and we'll type in wiggle, open parenthesis, maybe two comma 15, close parenthesis. And this will add just a little bit of nice glitch RGB effect to this. And then of course, check on mirror edges. So now with all of our techniques applied, here's what we have. And you know, we were able to do this really quick, very easy concepts. 
and hopefully something that you can use in the future. So those are a handful of my techniques when it comes to doing awesome motion graphic, you know, video promo work or intros, it doesn't matter what you're doing. So I hope you found this video helpful and found these techniques useful. So if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description. No ways. Be creating.